Welcome back to the Tide Deer Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for May 10th of 2020. Yes, today is Mother's Day. Mother's Day of 2020. It's going to be a different kind of Mother's Day. Most people take their moms out to eat, their wives out to eat that are moms, and probably going to be a whole lot less of that going on this year than last year or any other year. So try to make it special for them. Try to enjoy your Mother's Day. And let's get right into this. So first off, we've gotten some new pictures of RC. And this is the Masterpiece Takara version. There are some good things to see from this picture. Uh, some negative and some sort of semi bittersweet good news on the price. First of all, I do like this holster for her blaster. I think that's a cool add on that you can put in there. Really cool. I like little things like that. A lot of accessories, well, just kind of are unusable. There's really no use for them. That's a very useful accessory. And it seems to be like you could attach it or, or take it off, possibly. Also in this, you're gonna see all the different posability that she can do and just a uh, very posable figure. It's the direction Takara's going. Here's more pictures of a whole bunch of stuff showing more posability in the bottom, the alt mode, which looks great, on the bottom and then up top. Uh, again, there's that low hanging fruit issue. I, I, I'm wondering if it is possible that it is mistransformed on the chest because the chest is being shown in many different elevations throughout the different pictures. So maybe it is a possibility it could go up higher. If not, I'm sure there'd be an add-on kit that fixes it. And more pictures of the posability and stuff. So I want to get into talking about price. So Show Z has this up for $150 for the price. And I don't think that's horrible. That's not, not horrible. The Toy World 1 was 60-ish, around the 60 price range. Then you had uh, Fans Toys, which was 105, and then this one's gonna be, what, two two years later? Yeah, two years later, and it's gonna be 150, and it's Takara, and Takara price is just usually astronomical. I think that's within the realm of reason. Now, that's from Show Z's price. Now, I don't know what TF Direct or uh, TF Source or Chosen Prime or the US ones, what their price is going to be. And on top of that, right now, there's they're, they're charging additional shipping. Yes, I can't even get out of the additional shipping. It's just what it is, the way it is. You can have your stuff held until this shipping returns to normal, but of course, we don't know when that's going to be. Next up, we have our first look at a KO of Hound, the Takara's Hound. KO and obviously it doesn't have all the paint deco on it it's not fully decked out but it seems to be the exact same thing right and there's a couple of interesting things about this guy this hound is already sold out it's been up for one day for pre-order and it's already sold out now the thing about this is a lot of people complained about hound they they either didn't like the aesthetic, a brake issue, breakage issues of it, and all of this stuff. Yet, all the complaints about it, and the complaints about the price, and this thing sells out. The KO sells out. Here's the funny thing about it. The KO sold out, the official isn't sold out, and this is going to be $70. Plus, you're going to have to pay $22 in shipping. So, that's still, that's going to be $92. And from I got mine from Amazon Japan, official one, for $128. So, it's not a huge massive savings like we've seen in the past with KOs but it is considerably cheaper like a third less on the price or maybe a quarter less on the price but it's sold out almost instantly now I'm also concerned about the fact that there is no die cast in it I re really feel like if they made some of the parts that are problem areas die cast they wouldn't break as easy and that was my concern now hopefully the plastic is more rigid and can handle uh can handle more than the original one who knows but there are some concerns i was hoping for die cast we're not seeing the die cast and uh it'd be interesting to see when this comes out i don't have a pre-order yet because by the time i got to it it was already sold out 
So I've seen this in multiple places that the MB-15 Naval Commander pre-order starts next week from Fans Hobby. So if this is something that you're wanting to get, you might want to jump on the pre-order uh, right away. It seems like this is Fans Hobby's biggest project they got going on right now. And it looks to be massive. So uh, just a heads up, if you want to get this thing, start looking at the pre-orders. Don't miss out on the pre-order like I missed out on the Hound pre-order. Now, for those of you that don't know, Iceman should be arriving to your third-party distributor, local third-party distributors, any day now. It's incoming to show Z. It's probably going to start showing up at all of the U.S. retailers soon. So if you have a pre-order for it, then you should start seeing that you'll need to pay for that and get that thing shipped. But the other thing is, if you haven't pre-ordered it and you want it, and it says pre-order sold out, start watching those sites daily because there is a chance that you might be able to snag one up. Maybe somebody decides they don't want it, they don't pay for their pre-order or whatever, and it pops up, there's an opportunity for you to get one at MSRP. Now, the MSRP on this shot up from the 115 to 130 everywhere. Some places even 135. There's also rumors, well, I guess it's confirmed now, that Target's going to be carrying the movie masterpiece Starscream, and they're going to be charging $150 for this. It's going to be a Target-exclusive masterpiece. I wish Target would do Target-exclusive G1 masterpieces also. You know, that would be awesome. It would be just outstanding. Let's, let's let them pick up Hound. Let's let them pick up RC. Let's let them pick up these figures going forward. That would be great. Speaking of movie masterpiece Transformers, New Age is making their XM01 Mista, and uh, it's up for pre-order at Show Z right now. And I, I think I missed the whole everything about this. I didn't even know New Age was making a figure that was masterpiece scale, near masterpiece scale. I don't know. It's almost seven inches, so I think is that that seems bigger than a chug, and it would need to be in the masterpiece scale. So it looks. It looks like it's sort of spot on. New Age does great work. So if New Age could penetrate into the masterpiece, wouldn't that be outstanding? It's showing here with a laser beak and a ravage. Looks really cool. Uh, hey, it's up for pre-order right now. It shows you if you're interested in this thing. Speaking of New Age, New Age is putting out their reflector. Now this thing looks pretty good. And this is there's going to be two different recolors of the reflector. This one here is the toy look, and why the toy look is so important is because that camera mode, it really does have an excellent looking camera mode, really does take you back, and it's going to be so small, but I still think it's going to be too big for, say, a, a Masterpiece Transformer to hold it. MP36 holding this would still, it would look a bit too big but it's still be pretty interesting. I mean, that's probably the one reason I'd want to pick this set up specifically is so Megatron could hold it. But wait, there's more. There's more, there's clear. They're doing a clear version of the tune colors and it's not a surprise. And they're gonna milk that mold, but a lot of people do like the clear look. A lot of people like the clear versions of these Legends figures, so there it goes. Now, we can't talk about Legends, it seems, without their rival, which is Magic Square. So New Age and Magic Square both have a toy looking toy version of Reflector. And here's a good comparison. Now I actually have the tune version of this. And so let's go ahead and have a look at that. So I have the tune version of the Magic Square. I like it, I think it's good. I think Magic Square did a good job. I do think that New Age uses better materials and new age also has more paint and so it's kind of a give and a take which one do you like the most just pick the one you like the most and run with it what more clear new age stuff okay so agamemnon here is getting a clear purple now i think we've seen this but it still hasn't been released yet i still think it looks pretty cool the best part of this is having that whole transition to Galvatron. That's the, the purple translucent. That's the with the grid that was going on in the 1986 movie. So I think that's really why this is so popular. And a lot of people are really looking forward to this thing here. He looks good. In case 
you're losing count on how many recolors we've seen of Agamemnon. We're up to five, I guess. This picture shows the first one, and then the EX, which is the shinier colors of the original tune look. You have the gold at the top, the clear on the left bottom, and then the clear purple on the bottom right. Let's talk about a little bit of fun chug news, shall we? First off, Target is going to be getting these clone figures, and it's rumored also that they're going to be $25. So I think that's a fair, acceptable price. You get the set with both of them. They're both Legends figures anyway, so to get the set for $25, seeing as I was like two or three years ago, it should have been $20 back then. Now you're paying $25. I could live with that, especially when Target does all these sales, and you could end up getting effectively a quarter off that if you catch it on a sale, if the, the, the moon and the stars and all that align just right, and it's in stock during the sale. There's been more super sleuth chug information getting gathered about a two-pack box set of Earthrise version of Iron Hand, Iron Hand, Iron Hide, and Prowl. So we're going to get a two-pack, but they're going to have Earth modes versus the Cybertronian mode and the Siege. And that's the theory behind it. Now this is still very, very early information, all deciphered from another language and all that great stuff. But the cool part about this is I always felt like we're going to get a better looking Ironhide. I always did. And then I'm also thinking that, well, we already know we're going to be getting an Earth mode of these, uh, these Autobot brothers. So this set would be awesome. It would make a lot of sense. It would be great. And how much would this be? Would this be another $25 set? Or would it, no, this would be like a $40 set, right? 40? Hopefully not 50. I hope it's not a repack of Siege, though. I, I, I have to throw that out there. Hope it's not just a repack of Siege and a recolor, kind of like what Walmart's doing. Getting into some Star Wars news. So now there's a confirmation that there's going to be another Star Wars film in the works. They're not letting us know what era it's going to be from. So there's not a whole lot of news to report, but there's something in the works, obviously. And they're also talking about another Disney Plus franchise. So. I know we've heard of the Obi-Wan one. I don't know where that's going. We heard of a Boba Fett one. Don't know where that's going. But we do have confirmation that Tamura Morrison will be reprising the role as Boba Fett. Well, he was Jango Fett in 2002. But it's pretty exciting. Gonna be in The Mandalorian, so I'm not really sure how they're gonna work that out. That's really gonna be an interesting development. I'd love to see this, of course, going to be a lot of fan service going on right there pretty exciting little bit here and there dropping about what's going to go on with season two of mandalorian so last week was a really big week leading up to the fourth and not a whole lot happening after that but now it's all about can you catch a pre-order for these things right now on amazon you can pre-order the zuckus and the forlom this is the six inch black series version you can also get your han and carbonite See, this is just the Carbonite block, and it's $15. You can pre-order it right now on Amazon, and I think it's really good that they're they're putting this out. Like, people have been wanting this for a long time, and to get an official one, outstanding. Really great idea. I'm also hearing that Wave 2 of the Black Series is starting to show up, or it should be showing up. So, here's the fun part in this. Wave 2, 40th anniversary of Star Wars when they did this back then. Wave 2 was the hardest one to find and Wave 2 never showed up. So Wave 1 was everywhere. You could get it everywhere. You could still get it after Wave 2 came out. But Wave 2 almost didn't show up anywhere. So you might want to pre-order it. If you want this, you want to pre-order it. I'm also hearing we're going to get solid case packs of the Rebel Soldier. So. That's awesome too, because that's the new figure, the only new figure, the rest are repacks. Vader's also up for pre-order. And you know, here's the one thing about these carbonized figures. I think that GameStop has pretty much all of them. You can pretty much get all of them at GameStop if you didn't already pre-order them at other places. And they require $5 down if you can call your local store, pre-order it, and then you gotta go up there and they'll come 
to the door and you pay with a chip. That, that's how I understand that that's working at GameStop, so don't forget about GameStop. Also, I'm starting to hear from several Walmarts because I do visit quite a few and I talk to quite a few people about it that there should be a restock or a reset of these coming. The retro collection, if you missed out on the first wave of them, or not really a wave, in the first uh, shipment, I guess, there's going to be another shipment coming, so don't freak out. But then again, the second shipment will probably be just as hard to get as the first one was. And now you got to wait in line for 30 minutes to get into a Walmart. <laughs> that makes it harder to check. So one interesting thing that happened over the week, and it happened fast. It, like, it happened real fast. I went ahead and pre-ordered this from the Disney shop, and it's die-cast. It is the Imperial Probe Droid. I think it's going to be bigger. I think it's its own mold, not the same as the Black Series. When I get this in, I will do a comparison of this one to the Black Series one because I really do like this. I think droids need to be made of die cast. Droids need to be made of metal. You know, I'm okay if the human characters are made out of plastic, but I want my droids made of metal. Oh, I want my Transformers made of metal too, of die cast. I mean, I can't get that, but I can get this. And so for $27, it was actually priced cheaper than the Black Series version. It's, I think it's gonna be way better than the Black Series version. And the next day, when I looked at it again, it was sold out. Like, it sold out overnight. I'm glad I got mine. And we're expecting to get this game, the Hoth Ice Planet Adventure game with your Luke Skywalker. And here's the thing. I absolutely cannot stand the fact that they're packing this in a game. There's only one good thing about it. That card back should be super pristine. And when I buy this thing for like seven bucks on clearance, uh, I'll have a press pristine <laughs> card back for my Luke. But I really don't care about the board game myself. I know a handful of people might. And I know, like we have the other board game, my, my kids don't even want to play it. They play Monopoly and a few other board games. They don't want to play any of these Star Wars board games. And I, I kind of understand. Lastly, we got Hot Toys doing a couple of real cool looking, retro looking figures and here is a Boba Fett this is a very nice looking Boba Fett I like the way he looks it does give you this retro box love it it looks beautiful uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a hit again we have a Darth Vader and lots of Darth Vaders always it always seems like we're gonna get a Darth Vader all the time but this look at all of the different hands and all the different options that come with it I mean of course it commands a hefty price. I didn't find the price on this just yet, but they usually run like what, what around three hundred dollars, something like that. Oh wait, only two hundred and fifty-five dollars. That's awesome. Yeah, it's been a pretty light week of news, but still a lot of things going on all of the time. What did you like about this week's news? Hey, what happened this week that I missed? Like, subscribe to Dear Hanger out.